first of all, mechanical engineering is a really broad field. I mean, just about anything uh, that is in motion, any type of machinery, anything that involves moving energy or heat or uh, any type of fluid uh, really is uh, in the area of mechanical engineering. So it's a pretty, pretty broad field. Um, we put a little more emphasis um, uh, on what is often called here the theoretical aspects of engineering. But what we really mean by that is um, we try to understand a little deeper how things work and why they work the way they do with the idea that it's not just the job of an engineer to be able to operate and maintain equipment, but we have to figure out what the next thing is. What's, what are the ways we can improve what's currently in existence? How can we make it heavier or lighter or safer or more efficient or whatever it is you want to do? And so we involve, it's, it's, uh, and that takes uh, some background knowledge, science, mathematics, and, and uh, really understanding kind of how nature works. There's sort of a basic uh, core curriculum uh, that uh, will get you the um, bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. Uh, on top of that, if you're interested, for example, in power generation, uh, power plants, things like that, um, there's a series of courses that you can take um, which will uh, give you a little more depth in that. And that's called our power engineering minor. Uh, and um, actually, what most of our students do, probably about 60%, is uh, in addition to the mechanical engineering degree, they um, are also looking for the Coast Guard license. And that also involves a, a lot of additional coursework to basically get the experience and training you need uh, to serve as a marine engineer. When you start out as a mechanical engineer, the, the first thing you do initially is you take a lot of foundational classes. You've got you've to have a good foundation in science and mathematics. So that's usually the, the first thing you do when you're, when you're sort of building your education. Um, then on top of that, what you're going to start taking are more specific engineering courses. And so you would take courses um, for example, that involve understanding how heat moves from place to place and how you control that, how fluids move from place to place and how you control that. Um, when machinery operates or you have a structure, what are the stresses that are there and uh, how do you design it so that it's not going to fail and it's going to move the way that you want it to move. And so these are courses in fluid mechanics and heat transfer and mechanics. Um, that basically lets you understand how engineering systems work. Um, in addition to that, at Cal Maritime, we also put uh, some emphasis on getting some good practical training, too. And so in addition to these, again, what you could call theoretical courses, um, you've got more practical courses, too. You can talk about, in theory, for example, uh, a piece of machinery that will generate electrical power um, but we also want you to get courses where you actually see what this thing looks like and you kind of get to take it apart and understand, you know, exactly how it works. So those are basically your technical courses. And on top of that, there's, there's other aspects of engineering too. Uh, uh, engineering operates uh, in a social context and so you need to understand um, and take courses in history in, in uh, social sciences and things like that to basically round out your education and understand how technology works for society. What we really want to see is that you can actually use the knowledge that you've gained. The assignment is basically to design something that is in some ways new, uh, that satisfies some need that you've, you've observed out there, Students have, for example, designed uh, different ways to design a refrigeration system, for example, that doesn't actually require you to plug it in, or um, different types of systems that generate power. Uh, people have designed hydrofoils, different uh, human-powered vehicles, but the idea, again, is to use the knowledge that you've got. And you have, to, you have to design the system, but also, very importantly, you also have to build it, too. Uh, and hopefully, it works when you build it. So biggest thing, first of all, is your science and math. Um, you need to not, uh, not try to shirk taking physics and taking chemistry. 
very important to, to do uh, to study math. Uh, if you can do some calculus in high school, that'll definitely be an advantage. Uh, if you're thinking about being an engineer, uh, try to learn about engineering. If you go to uh, the website for the American Society of Engineering Education, it's just ASEE.org, you can learn a lot from that to see if you think maybe engineering is right for you. First of all, I'd say that our program isn't for everybody, but I think if you're someone who you think would benefit from uh, working in a, in a fairly small sized class, getting to work with faculty pretty closely, getting to work with the same group of students for several years, um, then, then this is really a school I think you should look into. And then of course also if you, if you are um, a little more geared to um, bringing in the practical aspects, the hands-on aspects to the traditional engineering ed education, again we might be uh, a good place for you to look at.